Ever wondered which K-pop group is making history by headlining the iDays Music Festival for the first time? Well, let's dive right into it. Stray Kids, an incredibly talented boy band, is gearing up to make history as the first K-pop group to headline the iDays Music Festival and the British Summertime Hyde Park Festival. How exciting is that? But the K-pop scene isn't just about Stray Kids. The boy band Ivan is also set to kick off their Asian tour in March, starting with concerts in Seoul. And let's not forget about G.I.D.L.E. Despite facing health issues, these girls are showing incredible determination to perform on M Countdown. Talk about commitment to their fans. And for those of you eagerly awaiting new music, Baby Monster is releasing a new track called Stuck in the Middle on Thursday. Be sure to check it out. And last but certainly not least, the veteran singer Bo A is lending her expertise to produce NCT Wish's debut single. Stay tuned for more updates on these exciting K-pop events. Who says K-pop is only for the young? Age is not a barrier when it comes to passion and talent. Take for instance the Golden Girls, a K-pop group that's breaking the mold in the most fabulous way possible. This unique group is made up of legendary divas in their 50s and 60s, proving once and for all that age is just a number in the K-pop industry. The formation of the Golden Girls is a story straight out of reality TV. These seasoned divas were brought together through a reality show, and their journey ever since has been nothing short of inspirational. They're not just singing and dancing, they're challenging stereotypes, redefining norms, and showing the world that K-pop is a genre for everyone. Public reception? Well, let's just say that the Golden Girls have been making waves. Their influence on the industry is palpable, and their impact goes beyond music. They're role models, trailblazers, and living proof that it's never too late to follow your dreams. Age is indeed just a number in the K-pop industry. The Golden Girls are here to stay and we can't wait to see what they'll do next. Looking for a new K-drama to binge watch? Well, the Korean entertainment scene has got you covered. Let's start off with the new JTBC drama, Queen of Divorce. This fresh series offers a lighthearted consolation on the otherwise heavy topic of divorce, providing a unique blend of drama and comedy that's sure to keep you hooked. And speaking of unique, remember the epic historical drama, Dae Jang Gyum? Its leading lady, the iconic Lee Young-ae, is making a grand return in the highly anticipated sequel, a treat for the fans indeed. But the excitement doesn't stop there. We're also seeing a crossover to Hollywood with Kim Tae-hee and Park Hae-soo. These beloved K-drama stars are set to make their international debut in Amazon's Butterfly. Talk about breaking barriers. With all these exciting updates, it's clear that the K-drama scene is heating up. So prepare your favorite snacks, get comfy, and get ready for a drama-filled weekend with these new shows. Did you know K-pop stars are also taking over the musical theater scene? Let's start with the talented Cho jung yun who has been receiving rave reviews for her portrayal of Fantine in the iconic musical Les Miserables. Her performance is said to be richly layered, with each show revealing a new aspect of the character. Now, for the fans of Monsta X, you'll be thrilled to know that Shonu is making his musical theater debut, starring in Natasha, Pierre, and The Great Comet of 1812. It's a fantastic chance to see this K-pop star in a completely new light. And speaking of musicals, the Korean production company, OD Company, is catching attention with their adaptation of The Great Gatsby. With dreams of Broadway success, they're certainly one to watch in the theater world. From the concert stage to the theater, our K-pop stars are indeed multi-talented. Curious about the latest Korean content making waves globally? Let's dive right in. The Netflix original film, Badland Hunters, has shot up to the number one spot on the global top 10 films in the non-English category. This proves once again that K-content is not just limited to music and dramas, but also extends to the world of cinema. In other film news, the late actor Lee Soon kyuns film, Sleep, bagged the top award at the Gerardmer International Fantastic Film Festival. This is yet another testament to the global appreciation for Korean cinema. And guess who's returning to the silver screen? It's none other than our beloved Yoon Yoo Jung. She's starring in the film Dog Days, and we can't wait to see her performance. That's all for today's K-Content updates. Tune in next time for more exciting news. Hey there! If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. By subscribing to XOXO Gossip Lips, you won't miss out on any of our future videos packed with entertainment, knowledge, and fun. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Happy watching! Cheers!